name is uh, Rosungogi, um, the Executive Director, uh, Kenya Institute for Public Policy uh, Research and Analysis, uh, KIPRA. KIPRA is a, a government uh, institution. We are under the State Department of Planning, uh, the National Treasury and Planning uh, uh, Ministry. Uh, this time round, we've been given a key topic to look at, and this is uh, related to manufacturing and trade sector. Uh, I'm aware that uh, uh, there's an aspect of climate change uh, in the theme of uh, this devolution conference, but we shall concentrate uh, more on uh, issues of manufacturing and uh, trade issues. For the first time uh, in two decades, Kenya economy had a contraction in 2020. It contracted by 0.3%. Manufacturing sector was able to take advantage of uh, opportunities that were emerging, especially in uh, manufacturing uh, the PPEs. Despite taking uh, uh, advantage of PPEs, the key measures that uh, uh, were introduced uh, affected the operations of the sector. So the sector contracted by 0.1 percent uh, and this was a very big uh, contraction compared to again when we had a drought in 2017. The sector only slowed down uh, by 0.7 percent. That said the manufacturing sector seem to have stagnated for a while. The two digits uh, uh, contribution that uh, uh, we expect with the Big Four agenda at about 15% seems to be very far from being achieved. Less than 10 counties uh, have a substantial uh, manufacturing sector contributing about 3% of the gross uh, county uh, GDP. The dominating activity at the county level is actually agriculture. The dominating activity in manufacturing is agro-processing, which means that uh, the agricultural activity that is dominating uh, various counties is not really uh, seeing uh, an enhanced activity in processing uh, the agricultural uh, production. So we therefore have a long way to go in exploiting ind industrialization through manufacturing at the county level and the transformation of the counties is actually uh, lagging uh, behind. Several counties have uh, potential for exploiting minerals, which would boost industry activity. But a lot of mining is at at Sano uh, level. They are yet to attract uh, big investors that would commercialize the mining activity and transform the livelihoods at the county level. Trade is a crucial economic activity in that it helps in distribution of goods and services. It also helps to reach out uh, to the consumers. With COVID, uh, domestic trade um, contracted uh, by about 0.4%. Uh, External trade was also affected, but had mixed results. Uh, for example, uh, imports declined by about uh, uh, 9 percent. Uh, exports, on the other hand, increased by about uh, 7.9 percent. And a significant increase in terms of the earnings from exports uh, came because of the increase in export prices, not because of increase in quantities. Despite all that, is that remittances is continued to increase. Uh, they increased by actually uh, 12%. That said, uh, it's, it's important uh, uh, to focus attention 
uh, to the Africa continental trade uh, uh, area. A very big market that is opening up in the African region and which would help uh, Kenya uh, grow uh, its exports. Uh, currently, uh, Kenya uh, key destinations uh, in the African region are uh, the bigger Eastern Africa, uh, which means that we have the EAC, uh, we have Somalia, uh, we have Ethiopia, uh, but also uh, Zambia and South Africa, which means that my, a lot of our trading is with about uh, 10 countries. So there are another uh, probably uh, 44 countries uh, that we should take advantage of, uh, given that uh, uh, the Africa continent of free trade area came into operation at the beginning of this year uh, in January. If you look at uh, what we can exploit, uh, Africa market is about uh, or worth about uh, 500 billion US dollars. Uh, Kenya at the moment is only able to uh, make uh, less than 3 billion in African region, which means uh, we have uh, almost 90% uh, uh, potential that is yet to be exploited. And in addition to uh, the traditional um, uh, exports like uh, coffee and tea that can uh, find market in the region, there are other products like uh, chemical products, uh, pharmaceutical products, food products, and even iron and steel. To note is that um, when you talk about trade and manufacturing, you'll notice that uh, um, our manufactured exports are declining, especially uh, in the East African community market. They are declining because uh, these markets are now nurturing their own manufacturers. The only way out for Kenya to actually have a niche market in the East African community is uh, transforming our manufacturing by venturing into high technology industries. For example, during the COVID period, we have seen pharmaceutical industry drive. And as a country, it gives us an opportunity to exploit pharmaceutical industry because this is an example of a high technology uh, industry. And it will help us uh, to get a niche in the East African community as well as African region. But it will also help us to uh, build complex product structures that will strengthen the value chain internally and also the value chain at the regional level. And when you have uh, uh, complex product structures, it helps you to see transfer of technology from the large farms to the informal micro uh, enterprises through subcontracting. Currently, manufacturing sector is uh, dominated by uh, micro enterprises that use uh, very rudimentary technology which exposes them to uh, cheap imports. In addition, the micro enterprises and are investing very little on innovation. And as such, they are finding it a challenge in upgrading the quality of their products and therefore penetrating uh, the export market. MSCs also tend to be in commercial areas rather than in uh, industrial parks. And this denies them a key uh, advantage 
of conglomeration. You see, when you have uh, industries conglomerating in an industry park, it means that it gives an opportunity for learning. It gives an opportunity for technology transfer. It gives an opportunity for networking. And that way, uh, we should see uh, uh, micro-enterprises being able to transform in adopting uh, higher technology. Kenya has an advanced technology that it is not utilizing at the moment. Uh, during uh, 1980s, when Kenya was venturing in the Nyayoka, it invested in a computer numerically controlled technology. It also invested in a, a ductile iron foundry, but we are yet to see uh, this technology fully uh, exploited. And for MSCs, instead of uh, struggling to get the tools that can help them uh, uh, uplift their technology, exploiting this uh, technology that we have would actually support them with these uh, intermediary uh, goods. Since manufacturing and even our exports are agriculture-based, anytime we have a draw situation, it affects that key input that goes to agro-processing. And uh, without uh, having exploited the uh, uh, non-rain-fed uh, agriculture, uh, then any time we have a drought condition, we see a manufacturing sector being uh, severely affected. In terms of uh, carbon emissions, I would say that Kenya may not necessarily be making high emissions. For example, at the moment, uh, just uh, emitting about 0.0% uh, of the total global uh, share. But of importance is the fact that uh, transport sector takes up a very huge proportion of these uh, uh, carbon emissions. Transport takes about 40% of the total emissions. But in addition to that, uh, industrial sector also, the industrial combustion, uh, takes about uh, 20%. Uh, so as we see urbanization grow, and as our desire for manufacturing also intensifies, these are key areas that require uh, policy attention. Uh, so that we don't get into uh, war situations uh, with carbon uh, emissions.